What up guys, it's your boy, back again with another video, and today, do I got another exciting day for you guys, a little something different from our usual stuff here on the channel, but today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and setup for you guys of the new Apple Watch, yes, this is the Series 6, finally came in the mail, came in uh, FedEx here, it's around 1pm here. In, on the east coast and uh yeah i am excited here can you guys guess what color i got i guess you'll have to find out here but uh let me dig into this here <laughs> as i'm in the box so i apologize for the weird camera angles but i don't have an assistant here at the moment let's see if we can get this with just one hand though so far so good let me turn away so you don't see my info there but this is basically what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, it came like that, all nice in there, but like that. But uh, yeah, this is basically all that you get here in the box. Let's move that out of the way here. And here it is. So this is the Series 6 with the red aluminum, aluminum <laughs> case, red sport band, 44 millimeters. <laughs> well, then before, <laughs> I can't speak right now. I'm so excited, I guess. But anyways, yeah, this is the um, product red version. So you get your Apple Watch band and charging cable. There is no power brick because, you know, Apple wants to, uh, say, be more envi environmental friendly, I guess. So so no more charging cubes. Um, they figured, I guess, that you already have a crap ton of cubes everywhere in every Apple product that you get. Not even just that, but a lot of devices you get those charging cubes so they figured hey you probably got one laying around so you don't need us to pack you one so here we are which is perfectly fine <laughs> sorry guys i know you guys wanted a little bit of the sound there but here it is Apple Watch, and uh, I don't know if you guys can tell from this angle and lighting right now, but um, the wording is in red here, so you know for sure you got the right product here. That's if you're wanting the product red, that is, which I definitely did. All right, so let's open her up here. I believe you got to do it this way. You got to open it, bend this back here a little bit. Same thing on this side. Apple always does fancy ways of making the unboxing experience worthwhile here. It's always such a great experience. A plus on them, but here we are. It's always, seriously, Apple always knows how to hook it up and make the unboxing experience feel amazing <laughs> all right so here we are there's the box oh let's get these out and right there product red put that to the side all right here you go you get the apple watch itself and you get the the sport band there or whatever band that you do decide to get so here we are designed by apple in california and here we are, we get our normal manual books and stuff here. And here we are, here's the charging cable. Again, no charging cube. And here's the watch itself here. Um, see if I can get it out with just one hand here. There we go, it's sliding out. All right, guys, I accidentally pressed the volume button on my phone there, so it stopped recording. But anyways, that was a perfect timing because I definitely needed to do this with two hands. But here you are, right there, Series 6, product red. Got your new sensors there. Check your um, blood oxygen levels. And here we are. It looks exactly the same as any other Apple Watch before this, nothing really new on the outside. The only difference you're going to really be able to tell is obviously by the new colors, if you got the new colors, and by the new sensors on the back. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on, 
See if it has any juice. Of course, it's got to have some. Every Apple product that I've known. Always battery inside. So there you are. Let's check out the new red sports band here. Well, I don't know if it's actually new, new. It's new to me. I don't know if they've always had this red sports bin. Or if it's only new to the product red here. There we go. Got that off. Again, I do apologize. Let me put the phone down real quick. So yeah, guys. Let me know if you guys are planning to get this new uh, Apple Watch here. Or if you guys plan to just skip on it or maybe go with the new SE or maybe check out the Series 5 or any other series beforehand. Let me know down in the comments. I definitely would like to know. Alright, here we are. Here's the sports band itself. And here we are. It gives us direction how to put it on. All that good stuff. Now... I ended up getting pre-ordering pre -ordering this Series 6 on the Apple website, actually on the Apple Store, and um, I was planning on getting the, the new uh, Solo Loop, is what Apple calls it, and uh, I was going to get that, but then I figured, oh man, what if it doesn't fit right, or what if it feels weird? etc etc I, I didn't even know they had like this fitting um thing that you can print out to check and see what your wrist size is i didn't even know about that i was just too excited to get my pre-order in just in case you know things were to sell out with this pre-order so but yeah and then i'm seeing all of these other reviewers here that um the sport the solo loop is actually really good and it it fits really well and it just looks really nice you know it's like oh man i wish i would have gotten it now but it's okay though here we are with this one i am a medium and large here so i'm gonna pull this one out I, honestly i could probably get away with the small and medium one but we're just gonna go ahead and get the medium large one out but yeah there's the new sports band there in product red color all right let me put the phone down again get the watch set up and put together and i'll be right back well guys here you are here's how the watch looks like all together with the new red band here i keep calling it new i'm still not sure if this is this was already out beforehand but yeah, there, there it is. That's what the product red looks like. I'm excited to wear this out and just show it off, honestly. Because, <laughs> you know, as soon as you see the red one on anybody, you you already automatic, automatically know that this is the Series 6. This is the new one. Because none of the other series had the product red until just now. All right, so we're gonna get this set up real quick. And so you guys can see what that looks like. So let me put the phone down. Let me switch over to um, my iPad over here and use the camera on that for just a little bit because I will need my iPhone to set this watch up. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. So I just switched over to the iPad Pro here that I have. We're gonna use the camera on this real quick while I get this all set up for you guys. So here we are with the new product, Red Apple Watch Series 6. Here I have my iPhone here. We're going to get this set up. So we're going to start the pairing process. Set up Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, you can set it up here. Setting up for a family member requires Apple Watch Series 4, GPS plus cellular, or later. So I'm going to set this up for myself because this will be my Apple Watch to use, personal one. So we're going to have this lined up. There we go. Your Apple Watch is paired. So set up Apple Watch. On which wrist, on which wrist do you prefer Apple Watch? I'm, I'm a lefty here. Well, I'm a righty, but I put it on my left wrist there. 
So now we're connecting to your Apple Watch. This may take a few minutes or moments. So a quick uh, tech specs here on the new Apple Watch here. We got the new S6 chip. So that's about 20% faster than the Series 5 beforehand. We got a better and improved always on display, which is said to be about two and a half times brighter than the Series 5. So we got the terms and condition here. But yeah, also you get this new always on altimeter, which basically your Apple Watch will always constantly be checking the altitude here. So it'll be perfect for those who do a lot of hiking or whatever it may be that requires you to have um, the ability to track your elevation and also you got the new SpO2 monitoring or the blood oxygen sensor on there now especially this time and age where we got this pandemic still going on that's always a good thing to have now so you can check your oxygen levels there um, I believe it said to, uh, for a healthy, normal person, you should be having about 95% and above. Anything below that, you may want to check in with your doc there. But yeah, this is signing into my account here. But yeah, though, let me down in the comments. Let me know if you guys plan to get this Series 6 or any other one. And if you do plan to get one, let me know what color or combo you're going to get. Are you going to get this product red or a different color? I know they got that new blue out now, which is not really like, it's more like a navy blue. It's more like, like that dark color kind of blue. Man, what kind of band are you going to get? Now, looking at what other people are saying about the new solo loops, I think I am going to get a get one eventually at some point in the future i was gonna get the red braided one i really wish i would have just gone with it but that's all right though still got the product red and that's what i wanted so here we are with that so let's get back to the setup here workout workout route tracking apple watch workouts uses your location to track routes and local weather for outdoor workouts sure Shared settings. Apple Watch shares settings with iPhone for location services. Find my iPhone, Siri, and analytics and improvement. Some watch faces and app may use your location when location services is on. The fitness app will be downloaded to your iPhone, which we already have. Now, so full bold text and size. Select your preferred reading and experience. Um, I think that's good right there as it is. I don't need to bold on. I think I think the text size is good right there. So we're going to continue. Apple Watch passcode. When you set up a passcode, Apple Watch locks when you take it off and requires the passcode to unlock. This helps protect your data. So we're going to create a passcode. I'm going to turn it over here real quick. I'm just pointing at the Apple Watch. And we're going to create a passcode. Actually, I need to set that up on the Apple Watch itself. So let me turn over here real quick. It's got a nice little click to it. I don't know if you can hear it. There we are. We set up the passcode. So let's continue on with the setup. So keep your Apple Watch up to date. Get the latest features, security, and improvements by updating watchOS automatically. You will receive a notification before updates are installed and can choose other options in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. All right, so now it's asking me to set up Apple Pay. We all know Apple Pay at this point. Basically, if you have like Samsung Pay and that sort of stuff, you can pay with your phone electronically at places that support electronic payments like that. So it's asking me to add my cards. We're going to go ahead and do that later. So now saying about emergency SOS, you can press and hold the side button to call emergency services if your Apple Watch is connected to your iPhone. Now, if you do have the cellular version, you won't really need to be connected to your iPhone. You can just, you know, call away 
from just your Apple Watch without having your iPhone. So this will also send a message to your emergency contacts. Fault detection can call emergency services if Apple Watch detects a hard fall. Fault detection is designed to recognize falls that happens on as old as you get older and you can enable it in the Apple Watch. Okay, cool. So now sorry, this app this iPad Pro is getting heavy now. <laughs> clock faces. You can change your your clock faces to personalize your Apple Watch to your tailor your clock face on your watch or in the Apple Watch app. You can ch also choose what's displayed on your wrist. All right. So Install available apps. Some apps on your iPhone work with the Apple Watch. You can install all these apps now or choose the apps you want later in the Apple Watch. If you install now, some of your iPhone and Apple Watch apps will be updated for compatibility. Okay. So I guess we can just go ahead and install app all. So my Apple Watch is syncing. I'm going to let it do its thing. And uh, I guess I'll let it keep playing here so you guys can see how long this process will take you guys. Actually, this may actually take a little bit of time, so I am going to pause it for you guys so you guys don't have to wait. <laughs> but basically, this is what the setup looks like here. So... We'll be right back. Actually, it seems to be going pretty decently quick here. <laughs> as soon as I started saying something. And now it's slowed down again. It's really playing with me right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll just end the video right here and we'll get back to it once it's done. Alright guys, so we are back. It just finished syncing over here. Your Apple Watch is ready. Press the digital crown to start. And over here it's saying your Apple ID and I and phone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new Apple Watch. If you already recently signed into a Jonathan's Apple Watch, you can ignore this notification. All right, so now it's saying here on my phone, welcome to Apple Watch. My watch, adjust settings, organize apps, and customize your watch faces, face gallery, browse watch faces, and add them to your collection. Apple Watch apps. You can get apps from the app store there. And we're going to press on continue. So that's basically it there on the phone. Now we're going to switch over to the Apple Watch here. So now it's saying to press the digital crown again. And there we are, all ready to go. Let's check out the watch faces here. See what comes on there. Got a new one. Go ahead, all these ones here. I believe this one's here is new, the artist. Uh, well, actually it may have been already on there, I don't know. I haven't had an Apple Watch in uh, from some time now. Yes, I know you just saw my passcode, but that's all right. I'm planning to change it anyways. So let's see what else comes on here. Out of all the sm uh, smartwatches that I've had, you know, Apple's, uh, the Apple Watch sure does have some like, really nice ones. Now, before this one, I did have the Samsung um, Active 2, I believe that's what it was called. I forgot already. And, you know, they had some nice ones on there that I, I ended up actually buying one for like a buck off their, um, their gallery there. And uh, it was really nice. I liked it. But, um, you know, you got some nice, nice default ones here already on the watch there. But there you guys have it. Everything else here is basically like any other Apple Watch. This is running Watch OS 7 already pre-installed. But uh, yeah, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. This quick unboxing and setup real quick. 
And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new product red. Are you guys going to get one? Um, again, this comes in 40 and 44 millimeter. Jeez, I can't speak. But anyways, yeah. Oh, a Huxle. Little side note there. As I was excited for this unboxing and this Apple Watch coming in, I ended up putting on my red bands here. So, we you know, we matching out here. Also, my shorts here with the white and red and black there. So, we matching up in here. I'm ready to rock and roll. Put this on here and go outside. And, uh, yeah, though. For real, though, if you guys enjoyed, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else with this Series 6. But, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.